Blockbuster Cash Secrets. Number one, set up a cross promotion deal with another web business. Allow them to sell your product as a back end product to their existing customer base. The web business product should be related to your product or service. If not, it may not sell that well to a different target audience. Number two, sell your product in a package deal or other web businesses. You can uh, both advertise it and split the profits. For example, if you're selling tennis rackets, maybe you could partner with a tennis ball business and package them together. It's a win-win joint venture deal. Number three, rent your products out for a set period of time. It's like selling, but you get your products back to rent again. You could make more profit in the long run renting your products or services. People today have less money and would rather rent than buy something and only use it once. Number four, allow people to subscribe to your products. It works best when selling information products, services, or memberships. You could charge them per week, per month, per quarter, or per year. It will bring in secure residual income. Plus, you can sell your subscribers back-end products for single sales. Number five, allow people to lease your products. It's like renting, but they have the option of buying at the end of the lease. For example, if you were leasing out computers, the customer would pay you a monthly fee. If they return the computer at the end of the lease, they could lease, out, lease it out again to someone else or even sell it. Number six, add a message board to your website. People will visit the website and ask questions and answer other people's questions. Some people will just participate on message boards so they can leave their link, but those people may end up buying your product too. Number seven, add a directory of website links to your website. People will visit your website to find related website links for the topic that they're interested in. This saves them time and effort searching for all those links personally. If you update it often, they'll come back and revisit and maybe buy one of your products. Number eight, add an article selection to your website. People will visit your website to read and learn new information related to their interests. You want to have original content so people can't go anywhere else to get it. You also want to update it regularly so they want to revisit the website over and over again. Number nine, add an archive of past e-zine issues to your website. Your new subscribers will visit your website to read the past issues that they missed. Your old subscribers might want to look for some more information or ads they remember seeing in your e-zine. Number ten, add a free ebook directory to your website. People will visit your site to download, study, and read new information. If you add one offer ebook related products, those people might decide they want to create their own ebook and submit it to your directory. Number 11, add a free classified ad section. People will visit your website to place their own free classified ad and to read the others. You can encourage them more by telling them you'll pick a few classified ads to run in your easing. This may influence them to subscribe to your easing or to revisit your web your website regularly to submit new ads. Number 12, add a free link page to your website. People will visit your website to place their own link and to look for other people's links. You could say to the link submitters that you'll run their link once in your easing if in exchange they place your link on their web page for one or two months. Number 13, add an about us page to your website. People will visit your website to read about you and your business. This will help to make your relationship with your, pr your prospects more personal and persuade them to buy. Include some of the non-business information about you too on your About Us page. Number 14. Add a guest book to your website. People will visit your website to leave their opinions about your business and to list their signature file. Yes, they may only be doing it to get free advertising, but it could be a visitor who might eventually buy your product. Number 15. Add a free software download to download page to your website. People will visit your website to find new software to make their life easier. Your software could be your own, freeware, submitted shareware, or demos. The software should be related to your target audience. Number 16. Show your potential e-zine subscribers a sample issue of your e-zine. Black out some of the important information. This will make them more curious and get them to subscribe. Use a really juicy tip that have you've not probably heard of. You could just tell them where to find your e archives or that sample issues after they subscribe. Number 17. Give away a free follow-up autoresponder course. Publish your e ad in each lesson. The more people who see it, the higher the chances are that they'll subscribe. 
your easy needs to have a lot of original and quality content for this to persuade them to subscribe. Of course, you could also mention one of your products in each lesson. Number 18. Offer your potential customers a discount on a particular product you sell if they subscribe to your easing. For example, you could say subscribe to my free easing and get a 40% discount of my latest ebook. After they subscribe, you could tell them about your secret discount order page in the thank you email that you send to them. Number 19. Give other businesses permission to give away a free subscription to your easing as a bonus for a product that they sell. You want the product or service to be related to your easing though. Just think, you could have a lot of businesses offering your easing to their customers. Number 20. Ask your potential customers questions that will persuade them to subscribe. For example, you could say, would you like to be able to retire before you're 40? Or does the idea of working at home appeal to you? Number 21. Rate your easing's ad to sound like it's a common sense idea to subscribe. For example, you could say everyone knows you have to have a few things before you start a business. Or something like, we all know you're, that knowledge is a key factor in making a business profitable. Number 22. Assume people are going to instantly subscribe to your easing. For example, dear healthy subscriber, they will want to subscribe in order to feel healthy. Another example could be dear intelligent subscriber, they want to subscribe in order to feel intelligent. Number 23. Allow your subscribers to collect things from each issue of your easing. It could be ebooks or software. They'll tell others, and those people will subscribe too. For example, you could say, in each issue of our easing, we'll be giving away a new limited edition business report. Collect them all. Number 24. Tell people what their friends or family might say as a result of them learning what's in their easing. People care about what other people think. For example, you could say, just imagine your wife telling you how proud she is for starting your own business. Number 25. Make people think that it's their idea to subscribe and they'll be less hesitant. For example, you could say, you're making a smart decision for subscribing. Or you could say something like, thank you for making an intelligent choice and subscribing to our easing. Plus you're reassuring ahead of time that they're going to subscribe. Number 26. Allow other easing publishers or website owners to republish small nuggets or excerpts of information from your free ebook with your byline or your ad included in it. That's another way to market your business by using a free ebook. Number 27. Make extra profits from selling monthly updates of your free ebook. You could also back end sell the extra, never before released chapters of your free ebook. You'll have a lot more people reading your ebook and see your ad because it's free and because it allows others to give it away. Plus, you can make more profit from selling extra content. Number 28. You could have a famous and respectable person on your banner ad representing your product, website, or your service. People will click because they'll trust that person over you. For example, you could say, Arnold Schwarzenegger even bought our product. Click here to see why. Number 29. Divide your free ebook into reports, then allow people to use them as bonus products or products that they sell. Just make sure they include your resource box or ad at the end of the report. If you want to, allow them to resell your reports as well. Number 30. You could end your ad copy with a free bonus. When you give people a free bonus, it increases the product's perceived value. For example, you could say you'll get seven free bonuses for ordering before whatever specific date you choose. Something else you could say is if you order this weekend only, you'll get the free ebook 